Hey y'all, I was getting ready to make a new hand. This is, um, you can buy these hands in, in their, your local nail tech supply store. I just happen to have a lot of them because I want to do the display of my nail art. So anyways, I was um, putting on the, getting ready to put on the nails and I thought, hey, somebody might want to know how to actually apply the acrylic nails. So, what you want to do is take your norm, your regular fingers and um, you'll clean your nail really well with the sanitizer and then you'll take your file and you want to push it, push back your cuticle and you'll notice that in pushing back your net cuticle with a buffer file that's what this is it's kind of spongy you know but you'll push it back push the cuticle back with that or you can use your implements and then um, you'll notice that the shine this is a mannequin's hand so clearly you know there's no shine to remove but um, you'll remove the natural shine off of your nail and then you'll take your tips and you want to fit it I've already um, glued the tips on these others but I wanted to show you the fitting a lot of nail salon owners they tend to put the tip way up here you know like way up here and then when they do the nail it ends up being all thick so you have like these big thick claws and everybody's fingers actually narrow a little bit most likely so when you're fitting the tip on yourself or your client you want to really go to almost their free edge so see how I'm really at the free edge, at the end of this finger so that the actual free edge is where her, the real free edge would be you know you would clip your clients nails so and um, how you affix the tip is you get your local handy duty glue. I usually order in bulk. Um, I ran out, so I just went to Sally's Beauty. They do allow you to use your pro discount for um, those professionals out there listening. Probably. Um, I use my um, Cospro and, uh, of course, my license over at um, Sally's. But anyways... I'm using the Kiss Glue. I believe it's under two dollars. It's not a lot. And then I'm all I'm gonna do is apply a little dab. And that's all that's really necessary. Um, if you were doing well, doing your natural nails, you'd actually put your primer on after we have fixed the nails. But since this is a uh, hand, I'm not gonna do that. So now I'm just positioning the tip. You want to make sure that it's lined up and it's straight, that the um, the well of the nails and the side walls are lined up, as you can see here. So we'll just go ahead and press that down. Because this is a nail mannequin hand, it's a little harder to actually keep it on there because there's uh, no heat. But there we go. So now it's affixed. And what you'll need is, um, like I said, you'll, you'll have a set. It'll give you some type of bonder. I could use this one, my normal bonder for pH balance uh, balancing on natural nails. I could use that. Or, But normally when you get an acrylic kit, it will actually have the uh, bonder, your monomer. Um, I keep my monomer in here when I'm, not, when I'm getting ready to do a supply. It's a liquid. And I do use a gel powder. This is the pink. And if I was going to um, give you a French tip, this is just natural nails. And it's going to be for design. This per this hand is going to be for design purposes only. So I'm just going to use a natural, which I'll just use my, my pink. And you'll need a sable brush. This is um, most... Um, uh, acrylic powder, acrylic, gel powders, and um, stained glass uh, products are usually applied with a sable brush. It allows the products to do their interaction and the brushes, the bristles don't make any difference. It allows you to still push the product around. So that's why you use that. So um, I guess here we go. So um, the first thing you want to do is you're you're getting actually little beads of the powder. Oh, and you'll need a buffer, a buffer, and you'll need a file. Um, I no longer really use my drill unless I'm tipping someone's toes. Then in some case, I usually have to flap it. But anyways, here we go. 
So I've already done these two, and that's when I really um, came up with the idea after um, that, you know, you guys might be interested. So you dip your brush into your monomer, and then you make sure that you actually um, wipe it on both sides three times, and that removes any excess. Then you just drag your brush through the powder and, and uh, hesitate just for a second. And if you see, see how it's um, the moisture is kind of almost solidified it. So then you just go on and you want to go to the stress point, which is this part here, the nail, and apply your bead. Like mine's really thick and all that. 
Um, what I want to do with the um, buffer is I'm just buffing the nails to make sure that um, they're nice and smooth. And you do a T. You go this way, then this way, then at the ends, and you're done. This way, this way, and you're applying quite a bit of pressure because you want to make sure the nails won't break. So you want to apply a lot of pressure at this time. See what's going on. Make sure you have a thick enough application. And that it's not too thin. And I'm just doing it in a T. And then, um, since I'm actually going to use this for a design, I'm not going to put the oil on. But at this point, and I'm just going to use alcohol, but at this point, what you would do is have your client go wash your nails. And since I am going to just go do the design, I'm just putting the alcohol that is trying not to come out. Let me see here. There we go. So I'm just going to put alcohol on these nails so that they'll be ready for application and um, wipe it off and now we are all set and so I will see you shortly with a new design and I think you're gonna like it it's kind of fun not this I changed my profile um, because I was wearing this to match a sundress so I'm taking my polish off and um, I thought, well, you know what? I'll just make a new hand and then that way I can maintain the design. I hope to see you in just a little while. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nelia. Her name is Nelia. You guys met Hannah. This is Nelia. Okay. Bye.